my friend, this is Carolina Millan. I am recording this video in my apartment right here in Viña del Mar, Chile. And I want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having an, an awesome day. Today is February 14th. But the reason I'm making this video is to let you know that you don't really, you probably already know this, but you don't really need a date like today to make the people you work with and to make the people you love feel loved. So if you stick around on this video, I'm going to tell you what you should be doing if you're building a team in your business, what you should be doing to make them feel truly appreciated so that they respond to you and they continue to work with you and make you a ton of money for them, well, for you and for themselves. Now, I'll tell you personally, I've never really thought that we need such a, you know, a date as Valentine's Day. I don't think it's necessary. I believe this is, well, mostly it has become a commercial excuse to sell more candy and flowers and Victoria's Secrets uh, products, <laughs> to be honest with you. And in fact, my boyfriend and I, we've been together for 10 years now, and I don't think we've ever really celebrated this day. Like, you know, go really deep into it and do a bunch of stuff. Um, I do believe that we don't need a specific date for this. Now, let me tell you, how can you really make your team members in your business feel like it's Valentine's Day every day. If you're like me, then you're probably working on the internet, you're probably building teams, you know, people who work for you, people who work with you, people who team up with you, people who JV with you, people who are your mentors, people that you are mentoring. There are so many different relationships that we build online, and sometimes we take them offline as well, and I think for me, that is the most valuable thing about the internet is the moment I'm able to take those uh, online relationships to the offline world and, and getting to really know the people that are behind the computer, for me, it's just, it's amazing. And that's what I love the most about this. Now, how do you make people feel awesome? How do you make them feel like it's always Valentine's Day? First of all, you need to every day let people know you care. Now, if you're working with a ton of people, let's say you have built a huge team of people online, maybe you're very successful right now and that's awesome. Make sure that you have communities in place. Make sure that you have formed this little tribe of all those people who are inspired by you and make them feel important every single day because they are important. You're important, I'm important, everybody is, to be honest. Nobody is more important than anyone else. And you should always make people feel that you truly, truly care. So one way is for you to gather all your people, all your teams, all your members, your employees, whoever works for you or with you, put them in a group. Now this could be a Facebook group. Of course, it's probably the easiest way. You can put them in a Google Plus group as well. You can put them in a membership site. Now this is a little more complicated. It might require a little extra work, okay? And if building a membership site is something that sounds complicated to you. Well, below this video, you'll find some resources that I personally recommend if you'd like to do this. But the bottom line is make people feel like they're a part of a movement, part of a community and make them feel loved. Now, how do you make them feel loved? You don't just add everybody to this membership site, Facebook group or whatever. You need to be present. So you need to be creating content for them. Now, you can manage to create your community in a way that people can pay you money to be a part of it, but not necessarily. You can have a free community of people who at one point or another have done business with you and it's your way to reward them and make them feel awesome. So start making content for them. Now you can do this on a daily basis or a weekly basis, but don't just put together a group and then, you know, think that it's enough to just have the group and, and you can just walk away. Okay. It's really, really key that you're present. Now, what works really great is when you see that you build this group, you start adding value, you set you know, the example, you lead with value, and then leaders will begin to step up in your group. And that's, you know, when I see that happening, I think it's awesome and you should totally let it happen and you know, let people feel like, hey, you know, I'm a part of this, I can contribute as well, okay? That's a really good way. Another good way, you know, just besides like I just said, putting content, what kind of content, right? You could do videos every week for them, right? You could do webinars every day for them. You could do blog posts. You could just, just go on, the, on, on your group wall, if it's Facebook, and just put a really good update with really good, 
good nuggets that you may have gotten from an event, from a book, from a mentor. Just anything valuable that you feel you can offer, that you feel you can share freely, go ahead and do it, okay? Now that's really good. And another way for you to make people feel awesome, feel, let them feel loved, is to recognize them. Now, it's, it's really, you know, sometimes it can be hard to do, but when you find talent, now we don't always find talented people or people who somehow stand out from the rest. If you happen to be working, working with somebody who stands out, somebody who's on your team, maybe in your MLM company or in your affiliate marketing opportunity or, or in your business, in your digital marketing agency, anybody that works with you or for you, if you see rising stars, if you see people who are going the extra mile, give them a shout out. How do you do this? I mean, just do it publicly. You can go ahead and post on your social media profiles, add a picture of them, add, you know, write down how you really feel about it, how you feel this person has impacted lives, impacted your life maybe. Maybe this person has managed to change their own life. If you see somebody who you know starts from rock bottom and you see them grow and you see them go to the next level in their life and in their business go ahead and make a big deal out of it because it is a big deal and that person is going to feel so grateful that you went out and spread the word to your own circle of people they're going to continue to you know stay motivated they will continue to work with you they will continue to work for themselves and for their dreams my friends, that is basically my Valentine's Day message. If you enjoyed this video and you're watching it on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Okay, you should see an icon appear over here where you can you know, hover your mouse and just subscribe. Make sure you like the video and leave me a comment below if you enjoyed it. Please tell me how do you celebrate love? You no, know? not just today. How do you celebrate love you know, with personally if you want to share that? and with the people that you work with in your work environment, in, in your company, in your, in your business environment, okay? People need to feel this and I don't think we can completely separate feelings from business. You know, there's always going to be this feeling where, you know, you enjoy working with people and what's really awesome about being an entrepreneur is that you get to choose, most of the time, you get to choose the people you work with. So choose wisely. If you choose the right people, it will, it will pay off. It will be an awesome experience for all of you. So leave me a comment below. Tell me how you celebrate things, how you celebrate success, how you celebrate love in your life and in your business. Um, I'll probably, you know, my boyfriend is not home right now, so I'll probably get him a little something. You know, like I said, I don't really think we need a day specifically, you know, to give, to give love or gifts or whatever. But it's a good excuse. Again, it's a good excuse. You can take it and go ahead and do it. So that's it, guys. This is Carolina Millan. Look forward to work with you. Please leave me a comment once again. Check out the description of this video for some cool resources about what I just mentioned earlier about membership sites or if you need any type of marketing or business advice for yourself. I'll see you in the next video.